hello everyone today we are going to see the properties of amines here we will discuss the reactions of amines first we will see chemical properties of amines difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen atoms and the presence of lone pair of electrons that means unshared pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom makes amines reactive that means difference in negative electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen and also the presence of lone pair on nitrogen atom makes the amines reactive the number of hydrogen atoms attached to nitrogen atom also decides the reactions of amines that is why primary and primary secondary and tertiary amines are different in differ in many reactions moreover amines behave as nucleophiles due to the presence of unshared electrons okay so the first reaction here we will discuss is is azylation aliphatic and aromatic primary and secondary amines react with acid chlorides and hydrides and esters by nucleophilic substitution reaction this reaction is known as azylation you can see or you can consider this reaction as the replacement of hydrogen atom of ns2 or nh group by the acyl group that means the replacement of nh hydrogen atom of nh2 or nh by acyl group is known as azylation the replacement of uh, hydrogen atom of nh2 or nh group by the acyl group is known as acylation that means ch3co group the products obtained by acylation reaction are known as amide amides the reaction is carried out in the presence of base stronger than the amine like pyridine which removes which is ill so formed and shifts the equilibrium to the right hand side that means this pyridine or the stronger base which removes hcl from the hcl from the reaction mixture we can see the reaction equation so here ethanamine is given that is c6h5nh2 that lone pair of c6 uh, nitrogen lone pair of nitrogen atom on on ethanamine is bo form a bond with it is form a bond with the carbon and the Uh, double bond of CH3COCl is shifted to oxygen atom and you get an intermediate that is C2H5NH H bond CCH3OCl that is an intermediate you can understand this reaction by uh, in understand this reaction there are some arrow marks given that arrow mark indicated the shifting of electrons okay and after that the hydrogen the bond between nitrogen and hydrogen is shifted to nitrogen and the electron present in oxygen on oxygen atom is shifted to carbon and forms a double bond and that hydrogen and the cl is removed or these two are removed as hcl then you get ch3 nhcu ch3 that is an amide n ethyl ethanamide and in the second reaction this n ethyl ethanamine n ethyl ethanamine that means there are two ethyl group attached to nh2 nh that is a secondary amine the first equation we have seen is primary amine second one is secondary amine on reaction with ch3cocl that means again hcl is removed h from nitrogen and cl from ch3co cl is removed then you can join that compound you get ch3n C2H5COCH3. From both the reactions, you just remove H's here, you get the product. And the last equation also, benzenamine, that means aniline plus ethanoic anhydride. Here, one hydrogen from benzenamine is removed, and COCH3 from uh, COCOCH3 from ethanoic anhydride is removed, and you get the product. Okay. And amines. also react with the benzoyl chloride that is c6h5cocl that means reaction with ch3cocl is known as acylation 
reaction with C6H5COCl is known as benzoylation. This reaction is named as benzoylation. So one equation is given there. CH3NS2 plus C6H5COCl gives C H3NHCO C6H5 plus HCl that is methanamine plus benzoyl chloride gives N methyl benzamide. N methyl benzamide. This reaction is known as benzoylation. Here COC6H5 group is substituted in, in the place of hydrogen atom. So it is known as benzoylation. So we have seen two types of reaction, acylation and benzoylation. Acylation is substitution of COCH3 group and benzoylation is substitution of COCH5. Uh, then amines on reaction with carboxylic acids form salts with amines at room temperature. Amines reacts, react with carboxylic acids, you get salts. Then the last reaction today we will see is today we will see discuss is uh, carbilamine reaction carbilamine reaction aliphatic and aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform that means chcl3 and ethanolic potassium hydroxide that means ethanolic koh form isocyanides that means compounds containing nc group or carbilamines which are foul smelling substances so carbilamine reaction is the reaction of primary amines on heating with chloroform and ethanolic and hydride ethanolic potassium hydroxide you get isocyanides or carbilamines which are foul smelling substance this is a this is known as carbilamine reaction this carbilamine is poisonous this is a test for primary amine secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction carbilamine reaction secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction this reaction is known as carbilamine reaction or isocyanate test and is used as a test for primary amines okay secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction this reaction is known as carbilamine reaction and it is also known as it is also called as isocyanate test and it is used as a test for primary amines take a look at the equation so here we have ethylamine chloroform and alcoholic koh in the first equation you have ethylamine that is ch3 ch2 ns2 plus ch cl3 plus three times or three molecules of koh you get ethyl isocyanate that means ch3 ch2 nc plus 3 kcl plus 3 h2o that means ethylamine on reaction with the chloroform that means ch cl3 plus alcoholic koh you get ethyl isocyanide plus kcl plus water so it is known as isocyanate test or carbilamine test and it is used for the testing of primary amines because only primary amine amines give this test i think all are following this next one the next equation is aniline plus chloroform plus koh you get phenyl isocyanide plus kcl plus water that means aniline on reaction with chloroform and koh you get phenyl isocyanide that is nc there is no h in that only phenyl isocyanide that is phenyl isocyanide benzene ring and on the benzene you will you will have only nc there is no h that is wrong okay on the benzene ring you will get only nc plus kcl plus h2 okay that means today we have seen three reactions of amines acylation acylation is the substitution uh, of h by coch3 group then benzoylation benzoylation of benzoylation is substitution of h by coch5 group and finally we have seen carbilamine reaction it is a reaction of 
primary amines with chloroform and ethanolic KOH. You get isocyanate. It is known as isocyanate test or carbilamine reaction. It is used as a test for primary amines. That is all about today's session. Thank you.